Good afternoon, everybody. Ms. Martin here. I hope you're all okay. Uh, here we are then, our final day of online learning for this lockdown. Hopefully it's our last one. So we're going to do our box set preview today, which is our quick quiz of everything we've been learning about this week. As it's Friday, we've completed another week of learning. So we've got five questions, as always, for you guys. And one at the end, which is a rewind to our work before Christmas, because we want that learning to keep going into our long-term memory so i will do this video i'll also post uh, a link to today's box set preview on it's not friday the 4th of march is it let me change that to say fifth i'll post a link to today's box set preview on class story and i'll also let me share this with you our knowledge navigator okay so you need to have a look at your Knowledge Navigator to help refresh your memory before you start your box set preview quiz. Okay, especially our English, because some of our English is going to come up. And also some of our history that we've been talking about. So make sure you spend a good bit of time looking through this with your parents. And we will start our quiz after. So have a look at your Navigator first. And then we can start. Okay, so I'll read through all the questions. Again, if you need to pause the video at any point, please do. Uh, no rush for this. We want to see what you can remember. If you're not quite sure, you can't quite remember, just try your best. And some of the spellings for this history one will be quite tricky. So again, just try your best. Then when we go through and mark it with me, we can write in the correct answers. So let's have a look at them. Friday, the 5th of March. So, back in ancient Greece, men and women were treated very differently. In a traditional Greek house, there would be separate rooms for the men and the women. So, this was our video in history that we looked at. What is the name of the room where the, only the men were allowed? And what is the name of the, woman, the room Sorry, where only the women were allowed? So, the men used to entertain people in there, and the women used to do all their fabric work in their room what were they called the men's one is a lot easier to spell than the women's just try your best okay we looked at some pictures of at the inside of houses what was the men's room called what was the women's room called okay number two then this is our PE question so we've been looking at the olympic games because we know that the ancient greeks invented the Olympic Games. So your question is to circle all the throwing events in the Olympics. Eight here, javelin, hurdles, swimming, discus, shot put, relay, marathon, and sprints. So which ones are to do with throwing that Harrison showed us in the video on, would have been Wednesday, and you guys had to go practice in. I saw some really good creative ways of practicing your throwing. Which ones of these are throwing events? Javelin, hurdles, swimming, discus, shot put, relay, marathon, and sprints. Fantastic. Just circle your answers. Then, well, I've given you a clue here. Explain the technique used to throw the shot put correctly. Where did we have to hold the ball, remember? We got nice and low it from our neck okay try and explain the technique that i showed you that harrison showed you and then you practice for the shot just a couple of bullet points for that one will do fantastic then we move on to our maths one and we've got to prove it for you guys so danny says that if he answers 736 subtract 369 he will need two exchanges or you'll have to two exchanges in his working out. So you guys need to complete this calculation and see if Danny's right, okay? Did you need to do two exchanges? So set it out in your method that we've been practicing this week, column method, so your hundreds, tens, ones, subtract. Fantastic. Again, pause the video. I'm just going to read them all to you so you can hear me read them. Then I'll give you plenty of time. Right, number four then. So this is our English one. So you should have read your navigator to help you with this. Underline 
all the prepositional phrases, okay, in this little um, paragraph that I've got for you. While the sun blazed through the windows, the children played peacefully amongst the haystacks. Their grandparents bought them some tea and rested the tray on top of the table. The prepositional phrases, remember. What's the preposition? What makes it the prepositional phrase? The English learning that you've been doing with Mrs. Bird. So underline all the prepositional phrases. I think there are three in that short paragraph in there. Okay, again, pause the video whenever you need. And then we've got our rewind. So this is our learning from autumn one term. So right back when you guys were really, really small, practically year two, start of year three. Okay, in September and October. So from autumn one, you've got our RE learning. And now what I want you to do is I want you to match the Hindu phrase to the correct picture. So we've got the Om symbol, which one's that? We've got a Mandir, which one is that? And we've got Ganesh, who we know is the God of wisdom. So all you need to do is draw a line to the one that you think matches the crop. Okay, what we need to do now is pause the video and um, have a go at completing all of this because I'm going to talk you through the answers very shortly. So pause the video because I'm about to go through the answers. Okay, I'm going to try. Uh, oh, not, I'm not going to write on the screen. Okay, so our first one then, ancient Greek houses. They have different rooms for the men and different rooms for the women. I can write this one in. Actually. The correct answer, the room for the men was called the Andron. Well done if you said that. And the room for the women was called the gymnasium. Yeah, that was a tricky spelling. Don't worry about the spelling. Did you remember that that's what it was called? Let me show you our image. We used this image. Okay, here's your gymnasium where all the women would sit and socialize and do their fabric work. And then you had where the men would sit and drink and socialize and entertain their friends. Well done if you said Andron for the men and Gynaceum for the women. Right, next one then. Circle the Olympic throwing event. So you should have circled Javelin, the long, thin one that we throw. You should have circled, not hurdles, that was our running last week. Swimming, no. Discus, yes. Flat stone that we spin round and throw. Shot put, yes. You should have circled that one. Relay, no, that's our running. Marathon is running and sprints are our running events. So there are three, javelin, discus and shot put, you should have circled. Then we've got a bit of an explain it one. Explain the technique used. If you remember in the video, the shot put is where you have a big heavy ball in the palm of your hand and you squash it into the corner of your neck and it can't leave your neck. You get nice and low and you aim with your arm and you push from your neck and push that chopper as far as you can. So if you've got anything along those lines, well done, you are correct. Number three then, Danny says that if he answers 763, subtract 369, he will need two exchanges. Now you should have done this in your column edition, okay? And you should, have worked out that you can't do nine take away six, so you have to go next door. Exchange 16 take away nine is seven. Can't do that. Exchange again, six. 12 take away six in your tens is six tens. Six subtract three is three. You should have got for this one 367. And yes, I've just worked it out on here. You did have to do two exchanges because you can't subtract your ones, so you go to your tens. You can't subtract your tens, so you have to go to your hundreds. So Danny is correct. And I'd like to see all of your working out in your column subtraction there, please. That's what we've been doing with Mr. Jones this week. So well done. Number four, underline all the prepositional phrases. Now, if you looked at your navigator, you will see that prepositions 
describe where something where sorry describe the time place or direction of something in relation to something else prepositional phrase so here at is my preposition and at seven o'clock because i need my noun is my prepositional phrase so let's have a look at our example then also, sorry, while the sun blazed through the windows, the children played peacefully among the haystacks. So through is my preposition, but my prepositional phrase would be through the window. So you should have circled that one. The children played peacefully amongst is my preposition. The haystacks makes it my prepositional phrase. Well done if you said those two. Their grandparents bought them some tea and rested the tray on top of the table on top of is my preposition the table makes it my prepositional phrase so you should have underlined those three if you didn't can you write the correct answers in now for me please and finally then our rewind to autumn one we have got our hinduism work that we've put on hold for the minute but it's really important that we remember this let me see if i can draw my lines off here no i don't think our OM symbol is this one here that we see in a lot of mandias, okay, and we know that it means eternal life. OM symbol, this shape, mandia is the Hindu's place of worship. So here we go to the building, and Ganesh is the half man, half elephant god, god of wisdom. So you should have drawn your lines going across there. Well done. Hopefully you are beginning to remember more, which means we know more, and keep up all the brilliant work. And we'll see you, oh, sorry, send over your work and we'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.